What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Stay loaded truck, and it's Monday morning. And uh, yeah, right now my brother's gonna connect the Black Beast to this trailer, and then after that, he's gonna let it warm up a little bit longer. In the meantime, we're gonna go pick up Pinto Bean, Pinto Bean, my brown truck, because it's like a mile down the street at the shop. So yeah, it's about four. 50 in the morning right now. All right, you guys. So, uh, we found a trailer to use out here in Sacramento. So we, uh, we are out here right now. So I thought I was supposed to pick up the trailer here, which is where the broker sent me, but they sent, they're gonna send me to another yard that's about two miles away. So that's where we're going right now to go pick up the trailer. And then we're gonna try to find a load heading to Southern California. So that's what we're doing. I guess this is, this is considered like South, Sac South Sacramento. You guys so i'm here at their other yard so a lot of these trailers are kind of old i'm starting to realize that because they have at least 30 trailers here but i haven't been able to find one i connected to one it looked good but then as soon as i hit my trailer brakes in i heard air, an air leak so i had to disconnect i just disconnected from it right now I think I found another one. So we're going to go ahead and connect to that one. And hopefully the tires look good. The brakes look good on this one that I'm backing up into. But once I connect, I'm going to see if there's any air leaks. So yeah, man. That's what we're doing. Still looking for a trailer. Hopefully this one's it. Because I don't want to keep looking. I've already been looking for like over 30 minutes. Opening the doors, closing the doors, making sure everything's good. And all that good stuff. So after we picked up the trailer, we've been sitting here for like a good hour, hour and a half, trying to find a load to head to Southern California. And yeah, can't really find anything, man. So I'm just chilling. One of those days on the load board calling and calling and calling you just can't find anything so while i'm still here looking for loads made myself a cup of noodles with a piece of meat yep just waiting so we're here at a pickup in fairfield already checked in it's a small little place but at least I have a scale, but I'm gonna see how this guy does it. Okay, okay, so after we got done eating, uh, I don't know, something told me just go check out the trailer from the inside, because I had to go take, actually I had to go take pictures from the inside. And when I went in there, there was some water leaks. I was like, fudge what now and they the where i was at picking out the trailers like they locked the gate and the guy ended up leaving so it's not like i could go switch out the trailer so um yeah i was like what the heck so it has, it has a water leak so when i was looking for loads i was like well let me get something that it doesn't matter if it were to luckily it's not gonna rain this week here in california and I checked the weather for Oregon and Washington and it's not going to rain either. So, so we should be good with this trailer, but it was a little wet in there. So I did want to find a load that they weren't going to be too picky with. So I did this recycle load because this stuff's outside anyway. So it doesn't matter if it gets wet. So going to Southern California will be fine. So we already got a load booked. Uh, it took a while. The rate's not the best. Uh, rates are still the same. Uh, same old news, you know, but um, 
tomorrow when I'm in Southern California, I'm gonna try to find a load going to Washington and that's where I'm gonna run into some problems again. But hopefully we can find a load tomorrow. And yeah, like I said, it shouldn't be raining and by the time, hopefully by the time I find a load tomorrow, hopefully it's kind of dried out in there. So if, do, if they do kind of inspect the trailer, it's gonna be dried out by then because right now it was pretty wet, so. Yeah, so we're just getting loaded here in Fairfield and uh, yeah. We'll be heading to Vernon, California. I think I've I've done these recycled loads before. It's floor loaded. I think I've been to this place in Vernon. If not, then I'm pretty sure there's a couple of places out there in Vernon. So, yeah. Good morning. Last night at the, I stayed at the bottom of the grapevine coming down. Uh, right now we're in Vernon, California, I believe. And uh, yeah, these roads are super, super duper small. I'm on 8th Street, Soto Street. Uh, but man, pretty small around here. Recycle Planet. I don't know what it's called, but I'm gonna check in right now. All right, so we gotta get on the scale that's in front of us. Wait for the light to turn red, back off, and then go to door 21. There's a truck right behind me, so I kind of have to pull forward. kind of step away from the truck because I have no signal and I'm trying to look for loads so I had to come over here and sit down in the shade so yeah I have to try to find my brother a load from Northern California to Southern California and I'm trying to find a load for me but I don't know when they're gonna unload me because I've already been here for an hour and they have not touched me but pretty much I'm trying to find a load from Southern California to like Washington so that's what we're doing right now all right, so they took about two hours and 40 minutes to unload us, which is ridiculous. But hey, I've been through worse. Well, we gotta get, go ahead and get back on the scale. And then once they give us the green light, then we're good to go. They gave us our paperwork already, so. And we already found a load for my brother. And we already found a load for me, so pretty good day so far, I guess. So earlier I told you guys to wait and right now my truck and trailer weigh empty with a little bit over half a gallon of diesel 33,220. Guys, we 
are here at Dream Pack in Santa Clarita, California. I guess we're picking up a load of beverages. I don't know exactly what it is, but yeah, we already got checked in. They gave us a door. Door three, building, building 14, door three. back then it's gonna be a heavy load so i'm trying to see if there's any scales around here and it doesn't seem like it and then the way station is only like i think five miles away so that's what kind of sucks but maybe they have some scales around here somewhere i'll ask them once they're done loading me if not then i'm just gonna have to risk it and put my axles all the way back as far as i can for california all right we're all loaded up with celsius drinks <laughs> 